What's up guys, Rob from Japan's Gaming here, bringing you another episode of Crusader Kings 2 here in the lands of Powys, where we are currently in a couple of wars here. Let me turn down the volume a little bit here. And um, we're currently plotting to kill a duchess. Which, I mean... It is what it is. She's won now, so that makes it not okay at all. <laughs> but still, things happen. Could be worse. Uh, last episode, we noticed that Carrick and Gwynedd or Galloway had gained their independence from. Uh, why is this music so loud in this game? Goodness. I love the music in this game, but it's loud. Um, anyway, so... We had noticed they had gained their independence. My possessed wife is pregnant. You know, it's funny that in this game, that you, you're... The wife being possessed... It's funny because, like, back in the day, they had this theory about women. It was called, like, female hysteria. And we can prestige our Dougal claims in Britain. We're not going to do that, because well, it would be crazy. We're going to fight the King of England. He is very much powerful. Well, not right now. But he has the potential to be. And we don't have that kind of leeway right now. So, anyway, like I was saying with the female hysteria thing, it's like... It was supposed to be this, like theory that if, you know, single women most of the time would be afflicted with this craze where, if, you know, they didn't uh, live out their sexual desire, or like, you know, if they didn't have that kind of uh, sexual action with people, I'm going to marry my son off, probably, let's go ahead and do that, that they would go like crazy, and so like the first, like, really, you know, sex toys were designed to, to cure this quote-unquote female hysteria. It's kind of weird when you really think about it, like, that we'd have that kind of idea. Like, oh yeah, women are fucking bonkers. <laughs> it's crazy, but, I mean, hey, it happened. Duke William the Bastard. Could we marry him off there? Her stats are okay. Oh, well, let's see, Cecilia. She's not bad. She's ambitious, which kind of sucks, but this isn't my heir, so I don't need any sort of special trait. So yeah, sure. But it's like... Really? I thought if women didn't have sex enough, they'd just go fucking bananas and just lose their shit. I always... I honestly found that hilarious when I found that out. Uh, my son got married. Okay. And it's crazy, but hey, it happens. So, we're trying to get a claim over here. My wife has retired to the coven for a short while together. Thoughts, finds peace, maybe even God. Perfect time to spend time with my lover. Who is my lover? Right. I am already lustful. Be discreet. We can gain deceitful, which gives us intrigue, which, you know. Be craven. Only see my lover on friendship terms, just friend zone the crap out of him. Uh Did she become pregnant? Fuck <laughs> That is not wonderful. <laughs> I mean it makes sense for my character to do it because he's lustful. Oh, it doesn't say she's pregnant. Maybe she's hiding it. But yeah, like, that was honestly hilarious to me. So we're trying to assassinate this one-year-old over here because she has... Where is she? Oh, maybe not. Where's the one-year-old? Did she die? Wait a minute. History. Yeah, she died. So sh her claim went with it? Yeah, see, nobody has her claim now, which is great. So we don't have to worry about anybody coming for this uh, county right now because she died. So 
there you go. And we're not going to press desert ducal claims on the king of England because he'd probably kill us. Although he is a maimed lunatic right now. Instead, we're just going to wait for this guy to get us a claim on whatever this is, climb a green. My 13-year-old wants to become lustful. 6% charitable, 40% lustful. He's lustful. Well, he's going to have kids, and it's I'm not going to give this guy a fiefdom because he's ambitious, and that means he's going to screw with a lot of things because he's going to want... Oh, we have a better chance, actually. Screw that. Give me a claim. Although, can I claim this for, like... Claim day, Hubart. Oh, we have a truce. Uh, my son... Okay, this is my legitimate son. Okay, cool. Uh, no, we don't have a Casas Belly with this guy. So, yeah. Okay, so we have the Ducal claim... Or the uh, claim here for these other two people. Which, Dave Hubart right now is just that. But we have a truce with this guy until pretty much. I'm probably gonna die before this truce is up. To be to be quite honest with you. Um, 1083, six years. Actually, probably not. But this kid right here, he better not. Uh, ooh, yikes. He better not go ahead and try and. Oh wait, did that guy just die? No, I still have to choose them. Caradog the Usurper. Yep. Uh, better not go ahead and try and claim that, or else we're going to have to off him too. Well, we didn't off the other girl. She just died. Um, wow, this guy has four duchies. Holy crap. That is a lot of troops. If he joins a faction, that king is not going to do well. Yeah. He's a hunter. But that was really weird to me. Um, so we're just waiting for this claim to come in on here. This is my son, right? This guy thinks it's his again. <laughs> this guy, literally <laughs> two thirds of his family are mine. Oh, that's glorious. What an idiot. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, that 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 poor guy. I, I would say I feel bad for him, but I don't, so... Oops. So yeah, that was just weird. I mean, history has been full of weird things like that, like... Oh. The HRE just inherited part of France. Like, a female hysteria was a, just a thing that people thought happened. I mean, I don't know why, but they did. There's also the, um, that one African tribe when, when the Europeans were, uh, invading or whatnot, that they thought they could just sprinkle water all over themselves and that they would be impervious to bullets, and so they did, and they just got destroyed. Yeah. Sorry, but, uh, last time I checked water didn't make you, uh, impervious to bullets. Really unfortunate, but hey, I mean, that's just the way it goes, right? So this king, right? Your heir is married already. And his heir is two. Uh, somebody wants to kill somebody. My grandson wants to kill my other grandson. You shouldn't do that because that's a bad idea, sir. I want a pilgrimage. Yeah, of course your scheme was misdirected, idiot. So once this war pieces out, once we lose this because, oh dear, my son-in-law died under suspicious circumstances. He was murdered? Why? Okay. Well, now we have a free daughter to marry off, which is cool. Can we marry into Scotland? Two. Probably not. 
Brittany or Brezia. It's really Brittany, but you know. Four. Probably not. Wait, why my niece? She's past childbearing age? Really? You're telling me she's past child. She's 29. Okay, my wife just had a kid and she's 42. Right, I don't think she's past childbearing age, but whatever you say, game. So, HRE, can we marry into you? Probably not. Actually, 13 might be able to work. Why is my niece the only one available when I do that? Because I do have that daughter. Not her. Yeah, you. Oh, right, because she doesn't come back to me. Right, 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 right. I'm an idiot. I forgot, she doesn't come back to me. She just stays at their court. Well, that sucks, my wife. Uh, did we lose our alliance? Why am I allied with the leader of the Navarri's of one? Yeah, we lost our alliance in Denmark. Well, that's unfortunate. Hello, Ghent is independent. Whoa, what is this? Hungry spawned? Or hungry... What? What? I don't... What? What happened? How did... What? Hungary somehow got the Duchy of Franconia plus a county. He's incapable at age eight. Wow. Jesus. Okay. Um, where is the Franconia? Is this it? He inherited it. Wow. This invalid king of it, Hungary inherited the Duchy of Franconia. Well, alright then. I mean, more power to you. Right? But I'm not going to say anything. Spain's having some issues there. Uh, my son wants a fief of his own. Not being a celibate, you're not. You, uh... Oh, he wanted a marriage, either one. Not happening. Not not with a celibate. Celibates are useless in this game. It's all about having kids, really. When you think about it. Oh, the peasants, the peasants, the peasants. Sorry about the cut, but uh, it's all good. So I have fulfilled my ambition to improve intrigue, so let's go ahead and improve our stewardship. Because that helps us make the monies. So anyway, uh, what was I on about? Oh, it's really weird to me that in this game, it seems like Ireland almost never gets formed. I mean, this guy has legitimate claim to this guy. Because uh, he's in his de jure uh, duchy. Right? He spilled the juice. So he could just easily go over there and just be like, Hey, bub, give me my duchy. And then just go on from there, which is what I did when I uh, formed Ireland. Is I took that first. And then I just went ahead and basically ate the rest of Ireland. I mean, I did end up coming in, uh, into ownership of this down here and this here. Because the Duke of Dehubard had declared war on on me for some reason, uh, God knows, and uh, so I noticed at the time that he had become Cathar, and that's when I went ahead and ate him in a holy war because there was no other nearby Cathar leaders. England later on became Cathar, but they weren't Cathar at the time, and so I was just like, fuck it, and I just went ahead and ate him, so it might be a good idea actually to start getting claims on here. You know, just, uh, wait, he's independent too? Scotland, what happened? Jesus, oh, you're, you're incapable. Wow. So it's all these people being capable. Well, the Earl of Sildara. Well, you're all the way over, where is Sildara? You're all the way over here. You're, you're landlocked. 
my my grandson wants to become humble, but he's ambitious. Sure, go ahead. My niece is concerned that she's still not married. Nieces don't matter. What is this? Promise to marriage. Uh, nieces really don't matter, to be quite honest. They they don't get you alliances anywhere. So, I mean. Let's just marry you off to, ah, I don't know, the Chancellor. Great. So that's wonderful. Doesn't really matter. Daughters, sisters are the most important. Give me a claim, damn it. Yeah, so he got excommunicated, which is bad. That is horrible. And he's in hiding, and he's expelled the Jews, so he has negative 12 diplomacy right now. And he's cruel, wow, yeah, so this guy, he has no diplomacy right now. Which is super bad for Leon. And they're pretty big, too. How's your heir? Your heir is Castile. He might die, though, because he's maimed. You didn't bone your wife? Bud? Oh, I don't think you have any uh, increases to your uh, fertility there. But I mean, you could have boned her anyway, right? No? Alright. So what's this guy revolting for over here? He's got... Attacking... He wants Scotland. Hmm. I mean, good luck to you, but I don't know how well it's going to go. Who really knows how well that's going to go for you? Is this independent too? Mm -hmm. Nah, because this belongs to... Oh, the old king died. His, uh, his... Incapable father is dead. Scotland's falling apart really quickly here, actually. What is this? Mercia is attacking. Wow. Uh, Hungary's attacking? No, not Hungary. Uh, Hungary inherited this. I don't know how they got this claim, though. Uh, County of Nassau. I guess they just inherited it. Yeah, he just got it, too. So the HRE just lost a duchy and a county, and another county over here. The King of Hungary did some uh, marriage tricks, apparently. Uh, did he inherit this, or did he take it in a war? The county of your parent. He conquered as a claimant. So he ate part of France, no biggie. We're still trying to eat this moron. Watching <laughs> him eat is disgusting. Some random character of mine just hates me for no reason. Well, I, not for no reason, because I basically called him out being a fucking fat ass. <laughs> oh, that's funny. So, the way we're probably going to end up pressing these claims if we ever do is waiting for, like, say, a revolt here, um, which would allow us to just go in and eat this stuff, which would be fun. He's scarred. Ooh, he's getting sieged. Earl Fingal of Galloway in Galloway Claim on Men. Oh, so Galloway is going to get bigger. I had a sickly granddaughter, so she might just die, which is no big deal. It's not that. Yeah, you see, that's the problem when your uh, your heir is so young and he has to take over. Actually, I mean, I had that happen several times in my Ireland campaign, and uh, people don't like young heirs, and so they tend to get uh, really, really pissy about it, which is really weird. Um, well, not really weird. When you think about it, it makes sense because they they see you as younger and weaker, and you don't have 
nearly as much pull and sway within your kingdom. Um, which, I mean, it makes sense. But that's why I usually take characters who are pretty good at boning, <laughs> to say it in one way. Uh, because you do get a lot of kids that way. And with a lot of kids comes a lot of ready heirs, should you need them. So, I still can't give him anything. I mean, he's pretty old, actually, 40. Uh, but he already has a kid ready to go who's, who's decent. And so you kind of just want to get this cascading line of, of ready and... Uh, Older people that can take over your empire should you need to. Let's see what's going on with the world. Kiev's big. These guys are big. Sweden still doesn't have these guys. Byzantine still just kind of hanging out. Ooh, okay. Papacy. Does the Pope like me at all? No, because, yeah, we're a bunch of bad things. Please, Pope, you no know, like. Pope doesn't like when you have sex. Well, I don't know what to tell you. As far as the HRE just hasn't eaten the Pope. Because that happened in my Ireland game. He, he usurped the, the uh, claim on the, county, on the duchy. And since he had the claim on the duchy... Oh, my daughter died. Who was she married to? Valencia. Bars oh, right, right, we remarried her into Barcelona. Yes, claim on a county. Claim on a county. What? I know. Back, claim on a county. Right, okay, so you have a claim on this idiot's county, so we're gonna go ahead and use that, of course. And we're gonna move him actually out to, um, probably here. I mean, a spy in your prison. Right. What do we want to go from here? Because once we take this, I believe we'll be able to usurp this county. So let's just go ahead and take this real quick, because 1.06 to 2.72, similar money. He has what allies? The King of Navarra, but he can't call him in right now. So let's go ahead, declare war. And... Everyone meet up there. Let's turn down time, actually. Speed 3. I don't like going higher than speed 3 in a war. It uh, It's not good and it tends to lead to issues. So we'll meet up. And I don't know why he hasn't moved his troops, but we're going to go in there, so... Maybe he's just giving it up. Who knows? Either way, we're just going to... We should just get this war pretty much in like one siege or so. So since he has a raise his army, I don't need to keep the speed lowered because there's really no threat to me at all. 
that is the alarm to end this episode. But uh, we're going to continue this episode just until we get this county, and then I'll call it an episode after that. And then next episode, hopefully, actually, we'll be able to use our... Oh. Is he ambitious? No. And he has crap stewardship. What title could I give you? A county or a county? Um, you know what? We'll give him this county once we take it. So there you go. Always take your marshal's idea because it gives you more troops. Or uh, technology. I forgot which one. But either one is really good, so I'll definitely take it. So we're just going to let this siege down. Uh, now that he has no standing army, I don't know why I didn't raise his troops. Oh, you know what? He might be trying to uh, pay back those Jewish merchants. Well, you're not paying back anyone after uh, this is over. Oh, we can call in allies. So I'm really hoping that... I'm going to say... Oh, what, what was that? Adulterer? We're going to save the allies for now. So my son, who I promised a title... Married, had a daughter. Okay. Oh, we had twins. Oh, but one of them is slow. <laughs> oh, that sucks. A twin and one of them is slow. Well, good job, son. Proud of you. <laughs> Way to go. That's daddy's boy having slow kids. It is what it is. Shit happens. How did they get slow? Is his wife slow? Oh, my uh, guy died. My core chaplain. It's unfortunate. Uh, so let's go ahead and improve relations with the Pope. Although for us, it's kind of futile to do this. He's always going to dislike us. But maybe if he just didn't dislike us so much. Wouldn't be that bad. Oh, we've been attacked. Have we? Oh, and he lost. Right. Can I split off half of you? Take the 10 12 guys and go kill his army. The problem is he raised his army on top of me, which means they have no morale, which means they're pretty much next to useless uh, in terms of being able to fight. Again, I really don't know why he didn't raise his troops as soon as we declared on him. But I guess he felt that wasn't in his best interest. So, whatever. Not my problem. Did a ding ding. Okay. Uh, merge. Oh, first we got auto save before we merge. Very important. Alright. And uh, continue the siege. So because this guy has a claim on the Petty King of Day Hubart, he only has one out of the three parts of it. So once we get this other part, we should be able to usurp it and press our claim on him once our truce is up. In uh, a year actually, so yeah, we'll be able to just go ahead and right eat that. And then after that, we might be able to form the Kingdom of Wales, because we might have enough of the uh, de jure kingdom to do that. Which, of course, we're not going to get these two parts. We're going to go ahead and eat these guys. So 84% still probably is going to say no. Yeah. It's just a flesh wound. Pretty much got to get him down to 100%. And uh, our vassal is going to be a little pissy. So we're probably going to let a little bit of cooldown time before we go after this guy. This uh, count. Because he's not in anyone else's de jure duchy, so like England can't go ahead and just press de jure ducal claims on him. We can press de jure ducal. Ooh, what is this? Um, you say you're a better spy master at 10 than 9. You're right. Uh, scheme in the capital. Gotta go ahead and get another autosave in here. So, we might be whales soon. I mean, not entirely sure, but it's possible. Definitely possible.
And yeah, so we're just sieging down bishoprics and cities now, which don't take too long. And there's disease everywhere. Ew, consumption. Shy and Craven. Yeah, this guy sucks. Shy and Craven are just awful traits to have. Uh, gain slothful or gain diligent? Well, definitely gonna try and diligent. Hey, slothful is awful, but diligent is plus one to everything, which is cool. Okay, so we just called the King of Navarra in, but once the siege finishes, yeah, it's too late for that. Sorry, should have called him in earlier. There we go. And yeah, see, we can now usurp the title of the Petty King of Dehubart. Which we will do next time on Crusader Kings 2. And then we'll probably go ahead and press our claim on this guy. But, like I said, that'll be for next time, so I'll catch you guys later.